Yes, this is the most craziest piece of painting. It's been slashed with a knife. There's been acid thrown on it. It's crazy. It's the one and only Night Watch by Rembrandt. But like, why is it so famous? Let me tell you. Okay, so during this time, the Dutch were like, let's paint our militia you know, going off and protecting our city. So this was during their like prime era and they were not in danger. So these were a bunch of frat dudes who wanted like big group photos. Like, I mean, okay. You can tell there's no depth in these photos. It's uninteresting. They literally just look like just they're just standing there. Like, come on. This is too funny. And then Rembrandt was like, let me make a whole ass masterpiece. So you might look at this and be like, why is this considered a masterpiece? So first he's able to create a frame using lines throughout the piece and he frames the main characters of the piece. Unlike pictures like this, where it's just not intentional at all. Here's another example. Then we're able to see him using depth of field and light. If you see his hand, it's almost coming out of the frame. The same thing with this sword-like thing this guy's holding. Attention to detail and the light that's hitting his hand is so tangible. He also gives a lot of detail to the main figures. All the guys in the back, I mean, look at this guy. And this guy just has an eye. But this creates depth of field. It's almost like you're looking at a really nice camera lens. And you aren't really able to see that in a lot of these paintings. Next is the light. You know of Caravaggio? He created this thing called Chiaroscuro, where he uses intense light and darkness to create this contrast. Rembrandt also used that Chiaroscuro, but his was so light. It makes it look so real. He's able to do that to many of the characters in the portrait. You might be looking at this girl and being like, what is that girl doing there? He's holding a chicken, which was kind of like the symbol or mascot of their militia. And so she is symbolic. And you have characters like this guy holding his gun. This guy behind him, he's like shooting his gun. And this guy is cleaning his gun. And it's kind of taken from the manuscript that explains how to use a gun. Again, symbolic, but just so like thoughtfully put into the composition. Okay, anyways, the Dutch are like, this is freaking awesome. And this is going to be like the best painting of the Dutch golden age of all time. And now for the attacks. In 1975, an unemployed art school teacher slashed the artwork multiple times with a bread knife. And they literally had to restore it for like four years. I've personally been able to see it up close. You can still kind of tell if you're looking closely. Then in 1990, a psychiatric patient escaped and sprayed acid on the side of the painting. Remember that guy loading up his gun? But it only penetrated the varnish layer and so it was easily restored. And yeah, that's the story of the Night Watch. Peace!